Mm -hmm. We are kind of having breakfast this morning. It in a waffle house, in a waffle house kind of way. Right. Yep. Hash brown casserole. Only with smothered. Cheese. I think that's. What I hope y'all saw that. Yeah. Hash Bill is eating is all gone. the cheese. <laughs> But anyway, we're making a really good easy side dish today. It's a good hash brown mm -hmm. casserole, right? Yeah, it goes great with beef, mm -hmm. ham, turkey, whatever you want to put it with. Whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, and we don't need very much. Oh, it's anything. super easy. You probably have most of it, except maybe the hash browns okay. in your freezer. Or All you right. might have them. Well, tell us what else we need. Okay, you need one two-pound two pound bag of hash brown potatoes, a half cup of melted butter, which is also a stick, one and a half teaspoons of uh, salt, a half teaspoon of black pepper, one can of cream of mushroom soup, uh, eight ounces of sour cream, a half cup of milk, two tablespoons of onion flakes, and ten ounce block of cheddar cheese grated. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we're going to put this all together mm -hmm. and eat our side dish slash breakfast slash whatever, whatever you it's want it to be. It's just good. All right. We, cheese and potatoes can't go wrong with that. All right. Well, we'll cook this when we come back. Stick around. Welcome back to Sunrise. We're cooking with the W. Mm -hmm. Shannon's in the kitchen with us, and we're making a delicious hash brown yes. casserole today. Yeah. And we already went through our ingredients, and like you said, a lot of them you probably have in your fridge. Of course, the staple cream of whatever. We've got I'm that. Sad. Bye, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, what do we need to get started with this super easy, delicious meal? Okay, we're going to make the camera in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> cream of mushroom soup first. Okay. And just whatever brand you want. Okay. And you have the cream of mushroom. Would cream of celery or chicken oh, work? Oh, you can. I'm going to start with the cream of mushroom. Okay. And then this is eight ounces of sour cream. Okay. And we're just Always see. good, especially potatoes, sour cream. They go hand oh, in hand. Yeah. You gotta have them. You can put a little squirt of liquid ranch in here too if Ooh. you want. This is a half cup of milk. I'm using whole milk. Okay. You can use skim if you want to, but whatever you keep in your fridge. You're right? using ten ounces of cheese. You might as well use whole milk. <laughs> Here's Mine our, as our well. black pepper. Okay. And then our salt. I use kosher salt. You can use whatever salt you want to. I just got in the habit when I was in school using kosher. What's really the difference between kosher? It's and a larger grain, mm -hmm. and table salt is iodized salt. It just okay. has kind of a metallic flavor, mm -hmm. so you want to get away from it. And this doesn't have it. And this okay. is um, I'm using dehydrated onion. Okay. And I think my mom's original recipe had real onion in it, mm -hmm. but I don't like onion. So it just doesn't cook long onion. enough for me to really like get that raw it's still, onion. Yeah, it's still yeah, crunchy. And, and so it sometime when I was a brat child, <laughs> it turned into dehydrated onion flakes. But if you want to put real onion in it, uh, dice up about a half onion. Where do you find the dehydrated oven in the, or onion in the? I get it at Sam's. Huge thing at Sam's. Is it in like the spice aisle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Spice aisle, um, dried onion flakes, dehydrated onion, same Okay. Thing. Okay, and this is our hash browns, mm -hmm. which used to be a two pound bag, same brand. Now it's a pound and 14 ounces. So oh, give me, no. I need the We're missing two whole ounces. <laughs> so they tricked me. But oh, well. if you can find a two pound bag, use that. Now you want to use the shredded, not the little squares. Okay. And I always have kitchen scissors. I forgot mine today, so thank you. You're okay. welcome. Okay. Those are my purse scissors. <laughs> so you want to dump in. And we were talking during rice. the break. If you have potatoes, like you said you grow potatoes at home. So if you have them, mm -hmm. can you go ahead and make your hash browns too if you, you can, want? You uh, can. Get your cheese grater okay. and just start grating them. You probably okay. want to peel them first. And then um, you need to soak them in ice cold water and it'll cut down on some of the starch. Okay. All in all, it's probably easier on your brain and your right. wallet if you just buy a bag. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to stir all this together. Now you can make this up the night before mm -hmm. and just put it in the refrigerator and then bake it the next day and the flavors will meld really nicely. This is every Thanksgiving, every Christmas, mm -hmm. my mom, we're like, are you making hash brown casserole? Mm -hmm. Yes, making of course. Hash and then whatever Eve it is, Thanksgiving, Christmas, she's like, mm -hmm. hold on, don't open anything yet. I have to mix it up and put it in the fridge. So we know it lives in the fridge until you cook it. And how long does it keep in the fridge? Just a uh, day or so? I wouldn't do it more than overnight. Okay. Now, I am mixing this up by hand, and don't mm -hmm. use a mixer because the potatoes, because they are thawed out, okay. are kind of delicate. So, okay. you just, they can tolerate yeah, the, the folding by hand with a rubber spatula, but not a mixer. Okay. They turn into mush. And you keep those in the freezer, but you want to thaw them out before you right. add them thaw in Thaw them out before, thaw them in, okay. the, in the fridge, thaw them out. You can throw them out on the counter, too. It doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. We're going to put this in a grease 13 by 9. Mm-hmm. And just pour all in. Yummy. Sour cream, potatoes, butter. Cheese. We're not to the cheese yet, Bill. Got cheeses later. 
Yes, you can. But it looks so good. <laughs> so this one we're going to put in a 350 degree oven. Okay. For about 45 minutes. We're going to pull one out mm -hmm. so you can see. The one I made last night, I split in half. So this is what Yum. you're looking for. It's going to puff up just a little bit. Okay. But once it comes out after 45 minutes, you want to take your cheese, mm -hmm. which I shredded a 10 ounce block. If you don't want to shred your own, uh, buy a bag. This gets about three okay. cups, two and a half to three cups. And you split this, did you put it in two eight by eights? I did two so eight by eights. So if you want to do that, you mm -hmm. could, if you were splitting it, just pretend like you only made an eight by eight <laughs> and keep the other one at home for yourself. Oh yeah. Like, That's what I go. would do. And this, uh, this size is perfect for a family of three or four. Oh, okay, great. So we're going to put it back in the oven. Leave your oven on once you pull it out. Put mm -hmm. it back in at the 350 for 15 okay. more minutes. Okay. And melt the cheese. Oh, melted cheese and potatoes. That looks great. Delicious. Okay. Well, when we come back, we're going to try it with the cheese melted and all. So, uh, but here's Justin first with a look at weather. Doesn't that look delicious? What did you sprinkle on top there? Dried parsley. Oh. I buy that at Sam's too. I it makes it more parsley. interesting instead mm -hmm. of just like, here's your square of yellow. Your square of <laughs> cheese. Because yeah, it, it looks like a big block of cheese. But it's, but it's delicious. And parsley so, always adds good flavor So what you're saying well. is a big block of cheese so Bill would eat it every day. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Fair enough. This is to keep cheese. Bill away. Put a little green on it, make him think it's like a vegetable. <laughs> yeah, there you healthy. go. Right? He'd stay yeah. away. <laughs> healthy now. <laughs> oh, but it smells green. very good. All right. And if they want this recipe, Shannon, or any others, they go where? My website, www.shannonlindell.com. Right. On the TV screen. Great. Fantastic Great. stuff. Um, okay. <laughs> Here. I want you to starve to death. I won't there starve. It just smells Taste so good. good. All right. Smell yeah. the cheese, man. Mm -hmm. It's like it's delicious it's cheese. Mm -hmm. And I broiled like a it. little bit on top, too, just because ah. get a little brown just for mm. a few seconds. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Oh, my cheese is all stuck. Cheese and taters. I need we'll a just knife. scrape the cheese to side and eat it as a side dish. <laughs> the side and, and potatoes. It's two yeah. side dishes in one. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm. Every time my mom makes it, I bring the extras home. Oh, you have to. In a cool container. This is container. very good. There That's go. my mom's travel dishes. Like here's <laughs> we, use old, cool we use old butter dishes, the big yellow ones. Oh yeah, um, those work well. We always use those. We use more Cool Whip than butter in my family. Oh, we're cool, cool Whip. More butter. We're Cool Whip people. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Very good. And we'll be back Thursday with beef stroganoff because you, oh. you tell me that's Love what you want. Yeah. Absolutely. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Get out your crock pots. Mm -hmm. We're going to make some stroganoff. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> right now, we're going to have to take a break. We'll come back with more in just a moment. You're watching WCBI News Sunrise.